everybody from the Mediterranean Sea. Wow. So this is what it really looks like. I think the sun's already up. You think the sun's already up? Yeah, I think so too. Well, here we are, um, walking on the beach. Michael noticed the sand is exceptionally soft. So soft. We think that we're back home, but no, we're not. We're softer than Hawaii. Really softer than Hawaii sand. We're at the Mediterranean look, Sea. No, no sand at all. Well, hey guys, look. It says swimming is prohibited, so it's a good thing we're not swimming. So welcome back to the dining room. Here this morning. It's uh, almost 6:30 in the morning, so they actually opened this a little bit earlier. Yeah, this is really nice view. I must admit. And then. This is the dining area over here, this buffet. I had a bit yesterday of it, but yeah. Wow, check out this food, guys. Lots of different cheeses. Okay, this is something you don't see every day. This is actually like honey from the actual comb. Oh, they tried so hard. They can't score beach. Mm -hmm. Trying to have this cute little beach decor up here, and uh, beach is uh, not exactly spelled right. Oh, to the balcony. Well, look at this, everyone. I can actually step out on this because it's astroturf, but. Wow, that's so cool. It feels all nice, the astroturf. Yep. And like, you got like little chairs that you can sit down, and you got a view of the beach, you know, just enjoying this before we uh, head out. Two and a half hours, maybe a little bit more. That's it. Israel is very small, but there's a lot to see. So, our first stop, we're gonna stop here for a little bit. It's called the city of Jaffa or Joppa. And that's a city that's mentioned and it's going to link and connect the story with what we're going to be talking about in the next stop called Caesarea. Because that's where we deal with the book of Acts chapter 10. That's where we deal with Cornelius and Peter and the house of a man called Simon the Tenor. Now, in here, we are going to talk about how Peter in this place saw a vision and today it's a modern city, it's close to the area of Tel Aviv and it is also, we're talking about 3,000 years remain. We are on the Mediterranean, which means we are close to the window to Europe. So every time you hear about the Romans came here, the Crusaders came here, they, they, you know, everyone who came from foreign countries, they came through the Mediterranean. So the main harbor or the main port of the land 3,000 years ago is the city of Jaffa. All right, welcome to Tourist Jaffa. Tourist everybody. Jaffa. Take that pig. This is Wait till Jaffa. Our whole here. This is the theater of Caesarea that we're entering right now. Doing my best to walk. It's a little windy actually. It says no smoking. <laughs> our first stop by the way. Oh my gosh, this is not what I expected to see. Sometimes we meet. Wow, they have concerts here too. Pay attention everybody it says. Wow. Coming up on the city of Caesarea. This is the city of Caesarea, what's left of it. Should I get a photo here? Wow, this is so beautiful. We are in the area of Mount Carmel. Uh, we found out that to say Mount Carmel, actually, they really mean you have to say it as Mount Carmel. Nazareth. All That's of where it. we're going. That's where we're going, the village of Nazareth. The mountain behind it is where it is one of the two possible traditional spots where the transfiguration of our Savior Jesus Christ took place. Well, hey everyone again. This looks like the same valley that we were at earlier, but actually this is a cliff. You can see, it actually looks, maybe doesn't look quite as steep uh, in this video. It is a very steep hill. Uh, this, we just studied uh, on this mountaintop that it is the cliff that uh, talked about in Luke 4, where Jesus was in the synagogue and he 
read Isaiah 61 and uh, really was just informing the people that they all needed to be saved. Not everyone liked that. They wanted to push him off this cliff and to think, wow, miraculously Jesus did not get pushed off the cliff to his death from this. But this is a very scary cliff. Uh, it's also very windy, so I hope that this can be heard. But yeah, this is an amazing view, but wow. We're here at the Leonardo Plaza. We just got into our room. This room is a little different. This one actually has a safe. We're gonna be here for a couple more nights. And here's a quick little overview of this. We have one bed. And how's the bathroom looking this time? So this one actually has a bathtub bathroom, which means I'm actually gonna do some laundry probably tomorrow. Yes. yes. Oh, interesting toilet again, but at least there's an actual tub. Hey, let's take a look at the view outside. Go for it. Oh, and we get to see the Sea of Galilee from here. Look at how beautiful. Wow. Amazing. Whoa. Well, good evening, everybody. Just want to check out the food here. Some stuff that looks familiar. This is a bit of what it looks like. More familiarity. Yeah, okay, I won't be touching that. More meat. And stuff that looks kind of familiar. Okay, so I completely missed that there's like dessert, like other stuff over here. Oh wait, yeah, there was more. And it looks like there's another table over here of stuff. What's this? Oh, lots of chocolate. A lot of chocolate. Yeah, I completely missed over it. Oh, hey, it looks like there's... Oh, that's interesting. It's ice cream. Oh, we're here at a coffee shop. It took us a while to get here. This is like almost a mile away from the hotel. This is a quick look around. There's fireworks happening over there. They want to start fireworks so we can, uh, a little earlier. Yeah, sorry, I'm kind of like walking, but hopefully it's still visible, guys.